Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. Now, I was just trying to look up some information on this game. Iron Roadway, clearly on the screen, by Carlo Singler, 1983. Now, if you look at Atari Mania, however, uh, you will see... Whoops, if I can actually get the uh, browser up here. Where are we? Atari, there we go. And you'll see that it's called Ion Roadway by James Summers. And obviously, I'm going to say Carlo perhaps stuck another R, an R in there and put his own name on it, possibly. I don't want to accuse anybody of anything. This is the instructions, which are fairly extensive, actually. But, I mean, it clearly, it's by the Atari Program Exchange, APX. And um, clearly says Jim Summers here. So... I don't know that there's any confusion about that and the fact that the name was changed and of the game as well as the name of the programmer suggests a little bit of hijinks. I was just going to see at the end here if there's any mention of Carlo but the answer is no. So that being said let's get back over here and uh, get my gamepad and back to the screen and press start. Why is this not... Why are we not going here? Oh, I know why. We will use the keyboard. I've been recording on my mister. Okay, how do I... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, reverse, neutral, gear one. Okay. Let's speed up a bit. Pass some cars. Fuel distance. Okay, so the distance is distance remaining. I believe I saw something about that in the instructions. I didn't read them. I skimmed them very quickly. So that car doesn't want to leave me alone. Obviously the higher speeds are... or prob probably the higher speeds are going to consume more fuel. I'm guessing. Higher gears. Which doesn't actually makes sense, I don't think, other than if your engine is running faster, which it wouldn't actually be, necessarily. Once you get up to speed, looks like this is pretty much level ground. Alrighty, we got... Oh! Boo, boo. I ejected, it looked like, and we have an atomic explosion! <laughs> Whoa! That is a catastrophic crash, so what happens there? We resume at the same distance and I have one less car. At least one less car. Maybe about three based on that explosion. <laughs> I just got an email pop up on my phone called I Love Lego from James Rusk. I don't know. Oh! Damn it. Uh, I think I wanted to refuel there, and I just blew right past it. I don't suppose I can back up to it, although there is a reverse there. Let's see if I can. Oh, I can. Turn up. There we go. Tur turn off the engine, and... Am I fueling? Doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess you have to be fully on the pad. Ooh, that's quite the science fiction-y refueling sequence. I love it. Okay. Now we got a lot of cars to cope with out there. Hello, get... Oh, I gotta turn the engine on. I'm trying to get into gear and the engine's not even on. Everybody passed me, apparently. I don't think that... I don't know if that matters. Hey, get back, you jerk faces. Ooh, nope, we don't want to collide because we explode instantaneously in an atomic fireball. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's a bit much. Alright, so anyway. C 
see if I can stay in the pocket here. Not passing anybody. Oh, you jerk. Okay. Whoop. That guy wasn't too interested in being passed. Okay. I feel like third gear is kind of the right cruising speed here. Fuel and distance. I saw something in the manual about higher gears consuming more fuel. So, oops. So I think when the distance comes close to the oh, comes close to the uh, end, I want to stick over to the left. I think and, and ah, damn it, damn it. Unless the fueling station can appear on the right, but it doesn't look like there's enough room over there on the screen. Whoa, whoa, no, no. What the hell was that? What would be these guys' motivation in slamming into their opponents and annihilating each other? I think the refueling has to be right here pretty quick. Doesn't it? Turn the engine off, refuel, yeah. I feel like that was, that was perfect. Perfect. Okay, we are full. Go. Nope. <laughs> Fireball's twice as big because I just took on fuel. And then is there a is there an end to the I think there is an end to the race now. I also feel like I'm unlikely to get there because I've lost a lot of cars. Haven't been counting. Whoa, what the hell was that? Is that a pin, pin, pincher? Yikes. That's got to be my last car, I think. Do you get extra cars? I wasn't really paying attention. Maybe I got some extras. Oh, yeah, I I'm on my last one still. Oh, no, game over. Never mind. Never mind. That's not true. Okay, is there anything? Nope, nope, nope. So I think this is purely a beat your own score kind of a game. Oh, come on. Pull out onto the track, and there's already turkeys ready to ram me up the, the old pooper. 28 points. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Interesting enemy, or, yeah, I guess enemy other behavior of the other drivers on the track. They are enemies in that they very much are interested in smashing into. Who the hell is sending me all these emails? Oh, I know what that's about. Okay, okay, okay. I gave... I gave a woman in the choir that I sing in, uh, two women actually, uh, little Lego sets because it came out during a uh, get to know each other exercise that they had never played with Lego. And so I, uh, I went and bought them just little sets, you know, I, I forget what they were, 10 or $15 each, and uh, I gave them each a set of Lego to play. To, play, to take home, to have, and to play with. And I believe that uh, one of them is sending me some pictures. I will look at that when I'm done with this game. Don't you dare smash into me, you little turd burglars. Wow, they really are interested in smacking me, aren't they? Okay, I'm interested in refueling. Distance is down to zero. Almost down to zero. Oh. There we go. I guess I'm enough on the fueling pad. Some nice effects there with the color rotations and such. Are we full? We are full. Okay, start engine. Go. Oh, go. Don't 
you dare smash into me. Ah, damn it. Oh, I paused the game. Other uh, keys on the... Uh, key, most of the keys on the keyboard pause the game. Kaboom. What an explosion. Oh, I was just wondering what happened when I ran off the road. I saw something about running over posts to get extra points, but I'm not sure what that was about, actually. So, anyway. Unless it be Oh, there, oh, there, these green ones, maybe. Okay, I think when they're green, maybe you can get, you can hit them for bonus points. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, I get it. It's a little subtle, though. A little subtle. I guess if you know what you're watching for. You still spin out, but you get points. And I think the whole point of this game really is how good of a score are you able to... Ah, you dirtbags. How good of a score are you able to get? That's And can you finish? <coughs> I think there is, there is an end to the race, I believe. Alright, we're in the zone here. Oh, whoa, back up. There we go. Fueling. Fueling. We definitely want the maximum. Oh, I got an extra car there. I saw I saw it happen with my own eyes. No, don't you. Don't you dare. Ah. Why would you do that? Hmm. <sighs> points. That was weird. I'm not quite I'm not quite sure about how the, how that point how the points for the green posts work. I feel like I got it one time. I'm not sure though. I was too busy with that to avoid the car, so oh no. Weird, okay. No you Jerkaholics. Jerkaholics. What am I doing? Ah, new high score for me. Uh, oh, came over. All right, well, I did not finish a race. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. So I'm going to call this Ion Roadway, as it apparently was appropriately named. And um, that's going to do it for my look at Ion Roadway. Thank you so much for watching. You take good care of yourselves. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.